to all the dispossessed youth of Africa for perpetuation of communion with ancestral spirits through the fight for African freedom and in the firm faith that the dead, the living and the unborn will unite to build the destroyed shrines. Hello and welcome, beloveds, uh, to another episode of Wake Up Africa. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How are you doing? How's everything going? I really do pray that you are well in all your ways and that you're moving into living life uh, truly on your own terms. I really want to send a special shout out to our Patreon family. Thank you so much for supporting us. And, you know, um, thanks for everyone that subscribed. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. So, uh, the thing I really wanted to discuss today is the seasons and times that we're in beloveds i think it's very very important that you know because we've been hearing the narrative on and on and on over and over and over about how you know the babylon system is closing down you know the there's gonna be uh you know the the world the, there's gonna be a shutdown you have to enter their prison planet otherwise there's nothing else that's gonna happen and we're all gonna you know everyone's gonna live this miserable ever after kind of situation but we fail to recognize that there is also a, a cleansing and a clearing that is happening by mother nature and you have to really understand the what reality is about beloveds so that you don't get shattered mentally with what's about to happen because you know mother nature is about to cleanse herself literally and you know this can continue beloveds and the parasite in this system is literally doing everything to make sure that the the cleaning, cleansing, you know, vibes um, don't come in to this realm that we're in. It's doing everything to maintain us at a lower level when everything changes. You know, the pendulum swings from left to right. You go down and then you, you everything that goes down must also come up. And we're on an upswing right now. Nothing can prevent it. So what is the true narrative about what's happening? Beloveds, you know, when I moved to the village, I thought I was preparing to, to, you know, to avoid the Babylon system and not to be part of it. But now as I, as I moved more and more by spirit to prepare, you know, to get my food ready, um, to secure my houses in case of um, storms, etc., etc., I'm recognizing more and more and more that it's way beyond that. There's an epic spiritual battle that has been going on. I told you the victory was already for, you know, the melanated solar world, the melanated solar nation. And now that is going to come down to physical. And what is going to happen to physical is like everything about this matrix must fade so that a new world, a new earth, a new narrative can be born. So everything must be erased. And because so many people are so mentally connected to this, they'll see it as death and destruction but you know because I was I was looking into um, all these um, you know species that are going into extinction you know when you hear um, you know the this bird sea species has disappeared forever you know rhinos are on the verge of extinction elephants are you know they've been culled like almost 80% of them all these things like everything is dying you know 2 billion acres of the natural rainforest has been cut down the, the lungs of this, you know, of Mama Earth. When you hear all these things, you can go into panic mode. But if you go deeper and you realize, you know, you truly understand, understand and understand the law of mentalism, that everything is mental first. And we are all spiritual beings having a human experience, including, I mean, spiritual beings, us as humans, but even the tree is a spiritual being having a tree experience. I'm serious, beloveds. Even the flowers are spiritual beings beings having that experience you know um everyone is in their own meditation everything is in its own um reality kingdom queendom and so when we see uh you know all these spirits like when we see you know rhinos departing from the earth elephants departing from the earth lions departing from the earth forests being cut down but also that spirit departing from the earth we should know that a reset is here and you see the babylon system is so clever because they always they look at what's about to happen 
And then they grab onto that, rebrand it, relabel it, and try and drag you into the wrong direction. There is a global reset happening, but it's, a, it's a, of nature. Because all those spirits that have left, all those spiritual beings that hell, you know, that made this an Eden, that made this a paradise with all the, the rivers and the streams and the birds and the, you know, all of that, beloved, and the animals and just all the wondrous things that we don't even see now because we can't even see with our first eye. We see with these two, two eyes here that are the greatest liars sometimes. Because of that, we are now, you know, we can't see what's happening. And we can't, we, we, instead of being in panic mode, like the world is dying. No, the world is being resurrected. The world is cleaning, you know. Mama Earth is cleaning herself. She's clearing herself. And people need to get out of the way. Because the most toxic, you know, low vibe energy places will be the first places to be hit. And Babylon will try and make you think that Babylon is somehow triggering all this, you know. But it's not Babylon, beloveds. It's not. It's something much more deeper spiritually. Mama nature, because we are we are we exist on a living being. This isn't just a rock that we're walking around on. This is a living, breathing, sentient being that is having her own experience. And they tried to hijack that experience, but she's way more powerful. And you know, when, like, when, when you get a cancer, what happens? You clear everything so that even the cancer dies. And then knowing that the spiritual beings that belong here will come back. And some of us will even go through that. We will, we will go through the birthing pains with Mama Earth, with Mama Nature, which is why we're being prevent, you know, present, pre well, prevented from from entering the you know the babylon system but we're also being prepared in our various ways in our various capacities to be able to ride the wave and be safe many of us are being led to the ark the ark is a mental haven before it's anything physical once you have your mental haven it will appear physically many of us made it on that lifeboat out just in time the lifeboat was mental it took a lot of your ancestors and your guardian angels and your you know spiritual beings that love you to get you out but mama earth is getting ready to do her cleansing and it will be like what they've described as an armageddon but they've also tried to distort that so much to make it look like they have a fighting chance when it's over for them. The only problem is the consciousness of so many of our people is in their matrix. You know, it's like the way they say Satan said you'll go with as many people as possible. I mean, mentally, that, that's basically what's happening, although that's a very basic, you know, excuse my even using that analogy. Let's take a short break. We'll be right back. Welcome back, beloveds, uh, to Wake Up Africa on the Dr. Mumbi Show. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How are you doing? How's everything going? I really, really appreciate love everyone who has stopped by today. Go ahead and like and subscribe, you know, and share the video so that more of our people get to hear this. You know, I just wanted to come with a very important message, beloveds, about, you know, the seasons and the times that we're walking in. Because with you, when you look at um, what the, you know, what the prophets are saying or whatever, you can think that... Babylon is about to take over planet Earth and we're all about to become prisoners on prison planet. But that's not what's happening. And, you know, there's a whole reset that's happening. And I know every country is trying to say the, the world reset, the global reset, but it's not that kind of reset. Because we're spiritual beings having a human experience where, you know, and there are many other spiritual beings that are having different experiences. And this is why we have to really 
go deeper into the principles of what makes this world, when we realize that the world is mental first and foremost, then so many things, so many dimensions, so many um, possibilities, and even just the world we see expand so much because the mind is limitless, beloveds. And we've been, you know, we've been taken out of our minds so that we could be made into limited beings, which is totally alien for us. But so many spirits have left the realm, you know, this realm and moved into the realm of their various ancestors. We've seen the extinction, I think, you know, millions, they say something like a billion or two billion species has gone, you know, extinct in the last 20, 30 years. And the world is literally, you know, they're trying to shut down the world with all these different technologies, chemtrails, etc., etc. I'm sure you've heard of that. But it's deeper than that, beloveds because we are not living on a rock. So someone can't come to this rock and just decide we're going to kill everything and make it our own. It's much different. It's much deeper than that. We're living on a sentient being, a very powerful sentient being. We have been, you know, and there's just so many intricacies about how this universe and how this world works and all the different laws and principles, even about how how we as creators on this little experience, you know, not little at all, but in this experience, we as creators, there's laws we have to abide by so that we can walk in our creative power. If we don't abide by that, then we can't tap into any power. And because we've not been taught those basic principles, we've literally been disempowered. But now when we see that, you know, all these kingdoms, all these animal kingdoms, all these tree kingdoms, you know, um, many, many kingdoms are leaving the earth and have been departing from the earth, then it should be a signal that a great mother nature reset is coming. And if you are part of the chosen ones, you should look into the fact that maybe what you're being prepared for as you're building your off-grid home, etc., etc., is to... to um, you're being prepared for the, the great cleansing where you will be safe from it but you need to prepare with food you need to be totally self-sufficient so that when we see Babylon really start to fall as mother nature takes off where you know I've been seeing these prophecies about the three days of darkness that are coming etc etc where you know entire countries entire nations entire continents have blackouts maybe even the entire world has blackouts etc etc when you see these kind of things manifesting is because the Babylon system has totally collapsed. And so when I say Babylon is falling or Babylon has fallen, what I'm meaning is like nature is returning as well. And there will be a, a great clearing and cleansing. So also prepare your hearts, beloveds, because so many of our people ain't ready. And that's why this process seems to be so drawn out is because the consciousness of so many of our people is so in the Babylon system that, you know, when Babylon falls, it will literally shatter and fragment their spirit. And but many are wakening up at like a significantly amazing rate, you know, but and, and we just and those who are awakening will get will be able to sidestep ever going into the Babylon mental matrix again and they will be part of this new clearing and new cleansing and you know it's funny like I don't mean to quote the scriptures but there's one thing where we've you know we're always told the battle is not ours the battle is not our own this battle is for spirit the battle is for the most high and I think that is something we we really have to dissect and know that that battle is here and so if it is not our battle, we need to get out of the way for a season and a time by making sure that we have created um, a, a home outside of the matrix, outside of the cities, where we have enough food to eat, where we figured out if there's no, if you know, if there's no electric, if the electric grid goes down, do you have solar panels? Do you have a generator, et cetera, et cetera. You saw what happened in Texas where, you know, the generators were sold out, food was sold out, et cetera, et cetera. So you don't want to be caught up in the pack and you don't want to be even caught up in the pack and so that's why I feel that many of the chosen ones um, you know their, their spiritual team is leading them right now into places which may feel like isolation but outside or away from the people but these are the times to figure out and do it now while we have time where you can do it almost at a leisurely pace you know do it fast and do it now
because there is coming a season where it will be frantic and if you haven't made those plans and started executing those plans it will be literally too late you don't want to be in the hands of the beast beloveds you really don't because the beast is wicked and mean you really don't so prepare now because mother nature is going to cleanse herself but if your mind is in the matrix then imagine what the beast will do to the children of the most high when it's the most high that is destroying him literally i mean just have that analogy it's a dangerous place to be so take advantage of these seasons and times disconnect from the matrix disconnect from the narratives of the matrix don't make those part of your daily thinking start to create a new life for yourself dial down your life dial down the the your the life of your children so that when mother nature gets to cleansing herself and you're left with just you and your you know your your beloved kin that you'll be okay and you'll be able to ride it out and you'll have everything at your disposal to do it in total you know um luxury and peace and harmony until next time to kopamoja Thank you.